So I wired up a couple of these 74LS181s. They are ALUs. And I thought I would make a quick video kind of showing a couple of the functions. Now if you look at the data sheet for the 74LS181s, you'll see that they have over uh, 32 functions, so can't go through all of them. But just quickly before I get into that, the way this works is uh, pretty obvious, I think. But over here on this side, we have our 8-bit A inputs. And over here on this side, we have our 8-bit B inputs. Now, I should say the uh, 74LS181 is a four, it has a 4-bit A input, 4-bit B input. But you can combine a couple of them. to get, Actually, you can combine, I think, any number of them together to get as many bits as you like. But, you know, I just wanted to keep it fairly simple and put two of them together for 8 bits. So these are my inputs, and currently all the bits are off. Therefore, the displays are off for both of these. So I can just, without worrying about what it, however it's set up at the moment, if I toggle one of the inputs on, say like, so you can see that its corresponding LED comes on. So in addition to the inputs, we also have the function select. This is a 4-bit function select, so you can select 16 different functions. But we also have this mode select where you can toggle between arithmetic operations, which is currently how I have it, which is currently the mode that it's in. And if I press the button, then the LED switches over to logic operations. So because we have this mode select, we have 16 arithmetic operations, and then when we press the mode select, we have 16 logical operations. So there's a total of 32-bit, uh, or 32 possibilities just between those two, and I think there's even more than, than I have uh, set up here. But uh, quickly, so currently I'm in logic. Um, I currently have the mode select set to logic, and the if you look at the data sheet, I'll put a link to it in the description down below, but the the first logical operation that we have is just not A. So currently all my A bits are toggled off, so because all of my A bits are toggled off, all of my outputs are on. Now my Bs have no effect on this particular operation, and I'll show that really quick. If I toggle, say, a couple of bits on, just kind of randomly, you can see there I've got three bits on and it has no effect at all on the output because this particular logic operation strictly looks at the A. So since since this is not A, anything that I turn on for A is going to come off on the output display. So for example, if I t come over here and toggle just kind of a couple of random bits on, so you can see I've got these three bits. I got these two here and this one on and the corresponding bits turn off on the output display. So that's pretty straightforward. So if we go to perhaps the uh, the second logical operation, I can do that by toggling the function select. This is this is these are the four bits. They're currently all off. So I have a low, 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 low. And if I bring up the first bit, I'll have a low, 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 high. And when I'm in this mode, I have a logical OR operation for not A or not B. So in order to have any of the bits turn off, I can just simply turn off um, anything on either side, because normally with OR, if you have either A on or B, then the, op then the output goes on. But in this case, it's reversed. So if I turn off, for example, this bit, so I'll bring up this bit high, and as a result, that bit goes off. And I'll just maybe bring up another one here on this side. You can see this bit goes high, this bit goes high, and it shuts those off because it's a, it's a not operation. And on the other side, perhaps if I turn off this one and say this one, I have these two on, which turns those off. So that's the... Uh, the second possible logical operation. And the third logical operation is uh, not A and B. So if I go low, low, high, low on my function, 
select. So we got low, low, high, low. And you can see all the, uh, everything on the output display automatically turned off. And that's because we have not A and B. So normally for, normally the way and works is both have to be on in order for the output to be on. If, if either side's off, then the output will be off. But in this case, if I, in order to have the output come on, I have to leave A off and turn B on. So for example, if I turn on bit one, you can see I now have um, this B, uh, the first bit of B is on and the first bit of A is not on, therefore the output goes on. If I turn on the first bit of A, now, now the output goes off and it would be the same for all of the other bits as well. So let's maybe take a look at one more logical operation. Uh, we can also do XOR. So skipping down, of, skipping down a few, if I go low, low, high, low, so that's going to be low, no, rather that's low, high, high, low. So low, high, high, low on my, on my function select. Now we are in XOR. And of course the way XOR works is your output will go on only if your bits are opposite. So currently since all of my bits are off, I have nothing on on the output. But if I turn on bit 1 for B, for example, then it goes on. And if I were to turn on the same bit for A, it would go off because that's how XOR works. If I turn on, say, these two bits here and say, I don't know, one of these bits over here, you can see that we have we have these two bits on on the output display and we have this uh, fourth bit on on the output display. And, that, and then if I turned on I, any of those bits, if I turned on either bit seven or eight on this side, it would go off on the output display. So let's do one, one of those examples. So turning on the last bit on A makes that go off on the output display. Okay, so those are the logical operations. Uh, there's more, like I said, there's a total of 16. Uh, but if I change the mode select over to arithmetic operations, and currently, let's uh, put everything down to zero. So currently my function select is all off, so it's, it's, the, it's choosing the first arithmetic operation, which according to the data sheet, when you have low, 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 is just A. So anything anything you see on the output display is just essentially mirroring whatever we have on the A input. Since the A input is currently off, everything on the output display is off. Um, and so it wouldn't matter what we select for B. So if I flip off a few bits on for B, you can see it has no effect on the output display. But if I turn on, say, bit uh, 8 for the uh, A input, it, auto it instantly turns on the 8th bit for the output display, and if I turn on the 8th bit for B, it doesn't change anything because in this particular mode, the output is just mirroring whatever is on the A input. Let's take a look at another math operation. So we have A or B, which is kind of more of a logical operation, and in fact, uh, you actually get A or B in the set of logic operations, so there's a bit of overlap there, I suppose. Uh, but the way uh, th this is just regular OR, so if I turn this bit on, we now have uh, A or B. So if I flip on this bit on B, it goes on the output display. If I flip on this bit for A, it goes on the output display because it's just if if either bit is on, then the output display will will have that. And like I said, that's kind of more of a logical operation, but that is included in the arithmetic. Uh, functions for some reason, and, and it's also a duplicate because that particular operation can also be selected in the in the in the logical um, operations. So let me skip down a few um, of, the, of the arithmetic, getting to something that's you know more math, and that would be a plus b, which would be high, low, low, high. So if I go high, high, low, low, high, we're now doing a plus B. So currently we're doing zero plus zero, so we have zero. And if I do 
0 plus 1, it gives me 1. If I do 1 plus 1, so 1 plus 1 gives me a binary 2. And if we do say, uh, oh, I don't know, 1 plus, I think I got an extra bit up there that I didn't intend, 1 plus uh, 9, then we get 8 plus 2 is 10. And, uh, and it does carry correctly, so for example, if we do something like if we set the four bits on B to high, the, la the, the least significant bits of B, so currently we're doing 0 plus 15, which gives us 15 on the output display. Now if I add one more to that, I should get 16. So 1 plus 15 gives me 16. Uh, it, there are other math operations as well. There's um, you can get, for example, um, a minus one. So let's let's go ahead and take a look at that one. Let me turn all these off, and then this this operation is when everything's high. So so we have high, 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 high on the function select. So all of our inputs are off. So currently, what it's doing is it's doing a minus one. So currently 0 minus 1 would be negative 1, or in 2's complement, it would be 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1. And you can look up online a little bit about 2's complement. But that should mean then if I set this to 1, we should have 1 minus 1 is 0. So let's check that. So if I bring this last bit, the least significant bit up, we have 1 minus 0 because that's just what these chips are doing internally is zero on the output display. So let's try something like a, a two minus one. So two minus one gives us one and then so on. And again, uh, this only affects the A input. So anything I do on the B side doesn't have any effect on the output display. So that's just a little bit of a look at this chip. I thought it was pretty interesting and I uh, thought I'd make a little video about it.